Americans throw away four pounds of garbage per person per day and two and a half million plastic bottles every hour. That's really an incredible amount of garbage. And we've this is Julie Lewis. She's an inventor who likes to talk about garbage. And because your garbage is her business. Julie invented a different kind of shoe. I think my brightest invention has been Deja Shoes. What's special about Deja Shoes? I think pattern on the sole is really cool. They're really springy. I like the little logo. Actually, these shoes are special and different because they're made out of garbage. I remembered shoes when I was a kid that had tires actually cut out on the bottom so that you'd see the actual tire there. And that started me thinking about why aren't we still doing that? Why aren't we still using tire rubber in shoes? And what other materials could we use in them? And that's when the idea for Deja Shoes was born. Now the shoes are sold nationwide, and Julie's work is never done. So Howard, how are the shoes selling right now? Very well. Prior to Deja at being a brand, there were shoes that were made out of new materials, and no shoes made out of recycled materials. And when I thought of it, a lot of people thought that I was crazy. Why would you want to put recycled materials into a shoe? We want people to know that you can make products out of recycled materials that are as high a quality, in some cases even better quality, than the new materials. I think they're really comfortable. I love the colors. You can wear them with anything. Julianne, can you help me get ready for lunch? Even when I'm in the house, just playing with the kids or doing chores, I think about the waste that I generate. And if there's not a place to recycle it, to take it to be recycled, I think about how it could be put in the shoes instead of being thrown away. There are many ordinary household items that become components of the shoes, such as old refrigerator bodies that become the eyelets in our shoes. And then we have milk jugs that become the upper molded rubber in some styles. And then we have cork bottle stoppers that become midsole material and sometimes the upper fabric. We also have polystyrene that becomes part of the upper rubber molded material as well. Clothes like these that don't sell in thrift shops we take and put into different components of the shoes, such as the denim becomes the upper of some styles, and wool clothing we take and have it reprocessed to become the inner soles and other styles. And half the rubber in our shoe soles comes from used tires. Once I pick a material that I think might be suitable for use in the shoe, I send that material, for instance tennis balls, with a list that will say how heavy the material has to be once it's going to be used in the shoe, how lightweight it has to be, how spongy, how soft, how hard, whatever. Send that list with the tennis balls to the factory and they try and mix the tennis balls with other stuff to see if it'll become what we can use in the shoe. So this is interesting stuff. Yeah, I wanted to show you this one. Oh, that's neat. Where did you come up with this? Where did you get this stuff? Well, they sent it to me as factory waste. What? This looks like... Uh... Inner tubes, uh, valve stem, inner, for cut inner tubes for cutouts. Yeah, cut I think that's what it is. Without imagination, Julie's job would be impossible. I wanted to show you this because this is an incredible waste material. Julie and Bruce, Deja's director of production, use problem-solving skills to decide how this factory waste can be transformed into Deja shoe material. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> do something really nope. simple. We could grind it up into outsoles or, or maybe make some interesting upper patterns. We melted it and then put the blotches together to make a real colorful type of outsole. Be fun. We could do all kinds of strange stuff. Giving trash a new life outside the landfill 
takes creativity and problem-solving skills. Fortunately, Julie has plenty of both. Some materials that we sent to formulators back east uh, were some cork and tire rubber, and then we asked them to blend it into some material that might work in our shoes. So the formulators sent back the sheet of cork rubber, which is mixed together with different components, and it became the midsole material right here in some styles of shoes. Right now we're working on a material using these cookie bags and mixing them with magic markers that we've collected from schools that have dried out, and then also mixing it with tire rubber. And when we send that off to the formulator, they send us back a material that looks something like this. And the first sample we got back, it, there were little hard pieces of the magic marker in here, and that wasn't going to be comfortable for somebody to put their foot on in a shoe. So we had to send it back and try and get them to get something that was more usable for us. It all comes together when a Deja shoe leaps into the design stage. Bruce and designer Mona must first shape the shoe on paper. So when you take the shoe out of, of the last out of the shoe, you wind up with this, this flexibility. And I'd like to kind of maybe bring some of that same approach to, uh, to the, the outsoles that we're working on here. Yeah, I wasn't sure how realistic these profiles were, but I just wanted to, you know, get that thick look. Absolutely. The, the luggier, the better. Information I need to start the creative process, like what the use will be, what the what kind of person is going to wear the shoe, um, then that gives me a reference point to start from. So I go home and I literally start doodling, just little drawings, um, just to get my thinking process going. Um, I do a lot of writing too, like writing down my thoughts at the same time as I'm drawing. From my standpoint, it's just the best way to start the process is just to generate as many ideas as possible because one idea leads to another and to another and to another. At Deja Shu, we try to incorporate the three R's into everything we do. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, like reduce the amount of waste you generate by not buying the shoes till you really need them. Reduce the amount of things you need. Reuse by the fact that we use some reuse materials like in some of the styles with denim. And also we encourage people to reuse with our concept of the shoe box, which comes like this and you can turn it inside out and it becomes a gift box. So you're reusing it for another purpose. And then recycle by re incorporating recycled content into the shoes. My fantasy picture of what the ideal world would look like concerning management of garbage and trash would be if you only took organic things like food products to the landfill and it was treated as a compost pile where you turn it so that the stuff can break down and go back into the earth. And then all the solid waste, like felt pins and plastics and things, would then be able to be recycled into a new product. I hope that someday I'll be able to walk into a store and see that everything in that store has some recycled content or has materials that were somehow processed in an environmentally sensitive way and that way I will feel really, really proud that I've been a part of something very important that needs to happen.